This episode is sponsored by Circle K. Get the most savings on every gallon when you fuel with the Circle K Fleet Card. Learn more at CircleKFleetCards.com. Welcome to today's episode of Truck Chat, taking the driver's seat. I'm Lauren Fletcher, executive editor of Work Truck, and I hit the road all the way down the street and got behind the wheel to help share some info on an incredibly capable truck I know you're gonna wanna learn more about. Earth Cruiser is known for its capability in building overland vehicles. That's why many folks got excited, but also a little more than curious when it created the core commercial chassis lineup. Back in August of 2020, I met with Lance Gee, a native Australian who has a passion for big trucks and problem solving, to find out more about the new truck option. I had the chance to look at the truck models and find out everything about how they're being built. A quote stands out from my first talk with Lance, who told me, it's not just an idea, we're doing this. We're building for the future where you can buy a capable fleet vehicle that meets the value of the community. Now, after a year and a half of waiting, I finally got the chance to take the truck for a drive and see its capabilities firsthand. Spoiler alert, I wasn't disappointed. First, some background. CORE stands for Commander Off-Road Equipment. The lineup was built to meet the growing demand for high-performing 4x4 chassis for commercial and DIY overland vehicle builder use. Initially manufactured on Mitsubishi Fuso chassis, after the truck maker's exit from the U.S. market, Earth Cruiser had a decision to make. After considering both the Chevrolet LCF and Isuzu NPR, core trucks are now built on Isuzu single and quad cab chassis. The core trucks are made in Oregon and support small Oregon-based businesses in much of the componentry. There are more than 20 small companies that contribute to the truck. Just a short drive away, the fenders are made in Prineville, Oregon. When asked why he was so supportive of the local community and business, Lance told me, you're always going to do a better job for your neighbors. These trucks are ideal units for any agency looking for a nimble cab over unit that may also be worried about space. From municipalities to line work, fire and emergency response, recovery, utility work, and so much more, these trucks are built to get technicians or personnel right to where the trouble is. A lot goes into making a core truck. Earth Cruiser technicians go through every major component and update it while ensuring that factory specs are kept. They don't simply take an Isuzu truck and slap a core logo onto it. I couldn't tell the factory wires from the added ones when looking at a finished mod. But why does this matter? These trucks are meant to be put into the trenches, driven through ditches, and be used. This means they're going to need maintenance and quickly. Through standard, readily available parts, fleets can quickly repair units themselves or take them to their service dealer for easy repairs. And with the option of a 38 or upgraded 60 gallon fuel tank and around 10 miles per gallon internally tested while fully loaded, these trucks are going to get your team as far as it needs to go. A few additional updates and enhancements, although far from a comprehensive list, include a transfer case from Atlas, removal of the original axles, and an upgrade to Fusion Dana, Fusion Dana 80 rear axles and Fusion Pro Kingpin 80 front axle with Auburn e-lockers, an upgraded four-wheel disc brakes, custom springs for both the front and the rear, and the trucks are fully DOT approved and certified. So as a truck editor, I've driven more trucks than I can count. And if you've ever driven an Isuzu cab over truck, you know they are capable, easy to maneuver through tight spaces, and have the power to haul heavier loads. For my first test, we took a red core truck loaded with 14,400 pounds in weight and affectionately nicknamed Clifford to a small parking lot where we tested its incredibly tight turning radius. The truck had no problem turning around in a spot that most full-size pickups would need to make a three-point turn minimum. Next, I drove with John Stafford, business development manager for CORE, out to the high desert just outside of Bend, Oregon, where Earth Cruiser is headquartered. Here, I was shown the truck's capability to get emergency rescue fleets, utility fleets, linemen, and more to remote locations. We headed up China Hat Volcanic Butte and took a rutted, steep road up the hill. Then we took the equally steep and far more rutted and rolling road down the other side. The truck handled the terrain with ease, no slippage, and tracked beautifully. These roads would stop most full-size trucks in their tracks, and the core truck handled it all with ease. I was given a chance to take the wheel to go back, and the drive was as effortless even for a novice rock crawler like me to handle. Finally, I took the truck down a heavily washboarded back road and picked up the speed. Topping 40 miles per hour, and being informed it could handle more, but happily pegging it there, the truck found a sweet spot and gripped the road floating above those bumps. 
At the end of the day, the drives were utterly uneventful and easy to handle, which is what you want for your drivers. There's enough stress involved in handling a fire or other emergency. You don't need to add to it all with just the drive. So for anyone looking for a core truck, there is a decent price tag, but the modular capabilities offered to fleets do help offset some of the higher costs. One truck chassis can work for multiple needs. For example, a fire and rescue fleet might be looking for a brush truck for a portion of the year and a command center at other times. Currently, the state of Oregon is contracted to purchase core trucks through a Spire grant for use in its fire services fleets. Fleets interested in finding out more about the core chassis or purchasing a unit should just check the links below for more info. Thanks for joining me as I got into the driver's seat to help ensure you have all the information you need to succeed. Stay tuned for more episodes of Truck Chat, where we talk about the issues that matter the most to work truck fleets and the people you want to know.